Chris Rock's joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's alopecia has quite understandably been somewhat overshadowed by her husband Will Smith's explosive reaction live on stage at the 94th Academy Awards on Sunday. Presenting on stage during the last hour of the show, referring to actress Demi Moore's buzz cut in the 1997 movie G.I. Jane, Rock whipped, I love you, further adding G.I. Jane too, can't wait to see it. What was to happen next shocked the audience and TV viewers Elegy Smith headed towards Row. Clearly, Smith's violent reaction was inexcusable but what about Rock? Was his serve the true Smith's ferocious forehand return within the boundaries of taste or did it cross the line? Pinkett Smith has talked openly about her alopecia, an autoimmune condition in which hair is lost from some or all areas of the body, since 2018 describing the condition as terrifying and electing to cope with it by shaving her head. Deconstructing Rock's joke into some kind of parallel, Eddie suggested that an actor who had lost a hand in the last few years might like to reprise a role in a new movie about Captain Hook, would it have been okay? How about an actor in a wheelchair because of a car accident some years ago? Would a joke that, that they should now be ideally positioned to authentically portray Professor Charles Xavier in the new X-Men movie have had the audience rolling around in the aisles? If, in these scenarios, Rock would have elected not to go there, then a simple explanation of what he did so this time must be because he doesn't consider alopecia to be akin to any serious disfigurement or disability. Perhaps it is not in the classic sense but it is a medical condition the effects of which can have devastating mental repercussions for those afflicted. In an article published in the London Evening Standard yesterday, British actor and singer Joelle was diagnosed with alopecia and made her on-screen debut in the Oscar-nominated June, gave her views on the episode, stating that it's never okay to joke about someone's appearance. She alluded to the case of 12-year-old Rio Allard from Indiana who recently committed suicide after being bullied about her alopecia at school. Joelle also described emotively, what it is like to be laughed at by children and by adults, for something that you didn't even do, that wasn't your choice. To be picked on, to be alienated, to be seen as a symbol of tragedy, as an object of mockery, 